بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم من بعد All of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's creation and creatures especially those creatures that have a free will and a choice mankind in the spirit world that we are in need of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's guidance we're in need of his showing us the correct path Allah gives us chances Allah is not going to punish us punish a, a, a person without having given them guidance to the truth and so I briefly want to speak about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's his attribute of being Al-Hadi Al-Hadi meaning Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who gives guidance. He is the guider. He is the one who gives us guidance on the path. And he sent us prophets and messengers to follow in order to follow divine revelation and come to the truth and protect ourselves from the hellfire by worshiping him and him alone. Sheikh Abdul Razak Half of Allah Ta'ala, Shaykh Abdul Razak, Ibn Abdul Masin Al Badr, Half of Allah. The Shaykh said in his book, explaining about some of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala's divine names and attributes, he said, وَقَدْ ذَكَرَ اللَّهُ هَذَا الْإِسْمِ فِي مَوْضُعِينَ مِنَ الْقُرْآنِ وَهُمَا قَوْلُهُ سُبْحَانَهُ وَإِنَّ اللَّهَ لِهَادِ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا إِلَى صِرَاطٍ مُسْتَقِيمٍ وقوله وَكَفَى بِرَبِّكَ هَادِيًا وَنَصِيرًا وَنَصِيرًا The Shaykh said that in two places in the Quran Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions His divine name and characteristic of giving guidance Hadi, Al Hadi. And the first place being in the verse where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Verily Allah is the guider of those who believe. He guides them to the straight path, the Sirat al Mustaqim. And this is in Surah Al Hajj. And also Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Farqan, He says, And sufficient is your Lord as a guidance and as a helper or supporter. That if you have Allah on your side in what you're doing, then that's sufficient. There is no one or nothing worthy of worship but Him. And there is no support and no help which is anything without his help and support. So it is sufficient for the, crea for the creation, for us as the frail beings that we are, to have the help and the support and the aid and the assistance and the guidance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Shaykh went on to say, Well, Hadi. هو الذي يهدي عباده ويرشدهم ويدلهم إلى ما فيه سعادتهم في دنياهم وأخراهم. He said in this characteristic of being the one who gives guidance, it is meaning. That Allah possesses the characteristics of guiding his slaves, guiding his servants, meaning us, and showing them and making it clear for them the way to happiness in their in this world as well as the hereafter. وَهُوَ الَّذِي 
بِهِدَايَتِهِ اهْتَدَى أَهْلَ وَلَايَتِهِمْ وَلَايَتِهِ إِلَى طَاعَتِهِ وَرَضَاهُ وَهُوَ الَّذِي بِهِدَايَتِهِ اهْتَدَى الْحَيْوَانُ لِمَا يَصْلِحُهُ وَاتَّقُوا مَا يَضُرُّهُ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who through his guidance he guides those people to take on their leadership responsibilities and guides them to obedience to him and also guides them to those things which pleases Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah is the one who gives us this guidance. He's the one who gives us this tawfiq, this, um, this way in which things work out for us and come together. This is only from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's grace and mercy and favor. And He is the one that gives guidance even to the creatures like the animals. And gives them the guidance so that they will uh, do those things and be inclined towards those things which are beneficial for them. And that they will have a natural fear, an innate fear to those things which are harmful. This is the guidance. These are types of guidance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And... Another benefit the Sheikh mentioned in regards to this, he mentioned that guidance is of three uh, types, or there's three ways in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives guidance to his, his creatures. And he said the first way is, in, is the general way in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives guidance. And this is the guidance for every soul and for everything to be inclined towards that which is beneficial and that which will help him or her or it sustain itself. So this is inclusive for human beings as well as animals. The second type of guidance the Sheikh mentioned, he mentioned the hidayat irshad wal bayan lil mukallafin wa yuhajjat Allah ala khalqihi alati la yu'adhib ahad minhum so he mentioned that the second type of guidance is the guidance in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shows and makes clear for those people who are responsible. Meaning that they have the response, they have the responsibility of carrying the message that if they if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has allowed for that person to hear the message of the truth. To hear the message of Islam, to worship God and God alone. That means that the proof has been established upon them. The evidences have been presented to that person. So then they have no excuse. That's another type of guidance that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala provides for his creatures. And that means that if someone is not, uh, has not been given that guidance, then they will not be punished for that which they have not received uh, a message. Because Allah is al al-adl. He is the most just. However, he knows whether someone would believe or uh, disbelieve. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows this in his infinite knowledge and wisdom. So that's the second type of guidance. The guidance uh, to in the way in which Allah makes clear for us the message that and our purpose in life. Our purpose is to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as he says in the Quran and I have not created mankind and the jinn except for the purpose of worshipping me. That is the purpose of his creation. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes that clear for his creation. But those people who have never been delivered the message their reckoning is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That they will not be dealt with unjustly. And the third and last type of guidance the Shaykh mentioned, he said, 
هداية توفيق وإلهام وشرح الصدر لقبول الحق ورضي به وقال تعالى من يهدي الله فهو محتد So the Sheikh went on to say as the final type of guidance or the final category of guidance if you will, the third he said that this is the guidance of tawfiq meaning of that the guidance where someone has been guided and they accepted the guidance and that their heart this is the type of guidance where their heart is open their heart is open to the truth to accept the truth to be humble and allow for their their defenses to be broken down and accept the truth in their heart and to not fight it not to refuse it to accept the truth and be pleased with it and that is the best guidance there the one who is guided like this subhanallah whomever Allah guides no one can lead astray and whoever Allah allows to be led astray no one can guide them and Allah the Almighty says and whoever Allah guides then he is guided من يهدي الله فهو محتد whoever Allah guides then he is guided so we ask Allah the Almighty to bless us and bless us to be of those people who die as believers in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who die with worshipping him and him alone and not associating any partners with him and may Allah bless us to be all of those who inhabit Jannah to Firdaus and who are humble before our Lord and righteous in our actions and deeds with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's cre uh, creatures wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam